We got a bluegill this time. This fishing method is so effective. So let's go start a fire and cook up our fish. I'm gonna make sure they don't burn and when they're done, I'm gonna flip them. Yeah, let's try the perch. It's a bit yucky. It's not yucky, look at that meat. It's white and flaky. I don't like it. For today's video, we're gonna do a catch and cook fishing episode. We're gonna try to catch a warm water fish like a bass, bluegill, crappie or sunfish and cook it right on the fire. And to catch them, we're gonna use a very ancient method of fishing that doesn't use a rod or pull. Instead, it uses a method called a hand reel. But I'm gonna do a modern take. Now I have to admit, I absolutely hate those Facebook ads. 99% of the time, they don't apply to anything I care about. But last week, I was on Facebook and I noticed a product that really caught my attention. It was by a company called Daggerfish. There they were selling high quality hand reel fishing kits, also other items like foraging bags, and I really wanted to check out the website. I learned they're made by a man named Adam who has a small business here in America, and he's handcrafting these kits. I thought it was really cool. So I went ahead and ordered their deluxe fishing kit. We're gonna try to catch a fish using only the items inside this box. They also have more affordable just the hand reel itself. You can also make one once you learn how to use this fishing method. You can use a glass bottle like a beer bottle wrapping it around or even a stick. If you have a line and hook, you can catch fish. So it's a great skill. I've never actually used this method of fishing. This is gonna be the first time. Now I'm not sponsored by Dagger Fish. I just saw it on Facebook and I wanna help support small businesses made here in America. Adam signs each one of his products. He's a craftsman and it looks like very high quality things. So let's open up this box and I'll show you what's inside the kit. The Daggerfish Adventure Ready. So we'll slide what's out. I haven't seen this yet. Oh, we have our foraging bag right there. Look at that leather work. It comes with some high quality mitten scissors. Those are surgical grade. And also, let's see what else. Some information. This looks just like the packaging right here. Proud to be part of your next adventure, some instructions. And this is the fishing kit. You can see how small this is. We'll open it up. Handcrafted by Adam. I love high quality handmade items. There's a sticker. My kids will put those on their water bottle. This is the fishing setup. It's pretty small. On the end, there's a cork. This is made out of black walnut. There's a storage container on this side. You hold it, you wrap it around. The fishing line fits right here. We'll take off this leather covering. There's a fishing line. There's a bobber. There's a whole kit inside. It's an easy way to store your fishing gear. That will fit in a pack. It hardly weighs anything and you can catch fish with it. We'll get it all set up, but let's look at the other items. Here's the mitten scissors. Those look great. We have a sheath for fitting on your belt that snaps on. A holder for the scissors the foraging bag, and this is a fly wallet. We'll open that up. It comes with a fly. It looks like a bullet head muddler minnow. So we might tie that on, but for the crappie and bass, I'm thinking we might try some of these grubs. I also might look around, see if I can find a worm, a grub, or some live bait, maybe a grasshopper. That'd be cool. But let's go ahead and tie up our leader for our fishing reel. Straight out of the box, it comes with a spool of line. There's knot on the end. We'll unwind that, and let's tie up our bobber and our hook. I'm gonna start by tying on this lead-free jig head right here. We'll loop the line through and do a fisherman's knot. The fish we're gonna to try to catch today aren't very big, so we don't have to do a super strong knot, just something good enough to hold on the hook. That should work. I'm gonna cut off this tail with the mitten scissors. Those are very sharp. Well, look at what I found. This great big grub is probably a beetle larva. We're gonna put it on the jig head there, place our bobber about two feet above it, throw these out and see if we can catch a bluegill. It looks like great bait. We should be catching fish very soon. Now the Daggerfish website has some great YouTube videos on how to cast this. There's three different methods. You can flick it out there for short distances. You can do the David and Goliath swirl around and then toss it, that can go pretty far. Or for live bait, we're just gonna clump it all in my hand and do a toss, throw it out there. I'm gonna throw it along these weeds and see if we can get a fish to bite. You just wanna make sure you point the dagger fish in the direction and it will free spool. And then when you reel it back, you use your wrist and go around like this. Let's give it a try. First cast with the dagger fish. 
take some getting used to. I'll do this nice and slow. I really want to be fishing along the weeds there, but you never know where you might catch a bluegill or a bass. It's kind of awkward at first throwing this, but with some practice, I think you can get good at it. The biggest thing is you want to make sure the reel is pointed in the direction you want to go and free spooling. I'm going to clump this all together again and do the toss. Ah, that was much better. It's in the zone where the fish are right by the weeds. I'm going to let it sit there for a minute and then slowly reel it in. Something just pulled our bobber down. They're biting at it. Oh, it's bobbing. I'm gonna wait till they really take it under the water, then I'm gonna reel it in and set the hook. But the fish are biting, that's a great sign. I don't know if it's a small fish or what's grabbing it, but that bobber is just slightly going under. Hopefully they didn't steal that grub. We're gonna try it again in that same spot. I might even put it slightly deeper. Ah, they did get my grub. I'm gonna to have to go and put on that plastic worm. That way they can't steal it. Let's rebait and try it again. That's a good sign. I can't believe they stole that juicy grub. Okay, I have my bobber and a weight in my hand and the hook down here. I'm gonna to toss it out where those fish took it last time and they stole my grub. I'm gonna point the dagger fish in the direction I want it to go and let it free spool out there. Not very far, but that's where they took my bait last time. So we'll just let it sit for a while and see if we can get them to take that bobber if it goes under and I'll set the hook. Oh, it's under. Got one. Look at that, it's a perch. Cool, I love eating perch. That will be a great dinner. So my first catch on the daggerfish is a perch. That's a great meal, but it's pretty small, so I need to catch a few more. They seem to really like this white worm. So let's keep fishing. We'll put this in the cooler, then we're gonna cook these on the fire. So I'm gonna cast in the same spot. I bet that fish there has a big grub in its stomach, but hopefully their friends are down there too. I'm gonna take my weight and the bobber in my hand. I'm gonna toss it out there. We'll just let it sit a while. That fish seemed to like it when I reeled it in. When you reel, you don't wanna go around with your hand, but instead twist your wrist. Oh, I'm getting a bite. Got one. What is this? We got a bluegill this time. This fishing method is so effective. So fish number two on the dagger fish is a bluegill. Another great meal, but it's pretty small. I'm gonna to have to catch quite a few to make a dinner. Good thing they seem to be biting these white worms on every cast. I'm gonna put it on the stringer along with that perch, then we're gonna catch some more. Now I'm gonna change the camera angle so you can see that bobber going down. Well, I seem to be catching a fish almost with every cast, and I don't have to throw it that far out there, maybe 10 or 15 feet. Let's get another one. Fish number three is another bluegill. It's pretty small, but we'll keep catching more. There we go. This one looks like a crappie, cool. Well, look at this crappie. It's the largest fish of the day and it's beautiful. It's golden and speckled color. We also got two bluegill and a perch. That's quite a bit of food caught in about half an hour with a handrail. It's a great fishing system to know how to do. You can keep this in a survival pack. It's simple and small and very effective. So let's go start a fire and cook up our fish. So I have a fire going in my backyard fire pit. And my kids are really excited about eating the fish I caught. Now, because we caught them with an ancient fishing method, 
we're gonna cook them with the most ancient cooking method. And that is, we're not gonna gut them or scale them. We're just gonna lay them directly on the hot coals, flip them, and then enjoy that flaky white meat. Now, as we wait for them to burn down, I wanted to show you just how great the leather work is on the dagger fish. You can put it right on your belt, carry it around. When you're ready to use it, you pull it out. I also got their other product, which is a wax canvas over here. It's a forging bag. It's really cool. It has a magnet opening. It opens up and it's great for going around and collecting nuts or berries, anything you want to forage. It's really convenient. It has a tie on the bottom so you can tie it around your leg. It won't flop around. And when you're done with it, just roll this up and it has that magnet right there in the leather. Very convenient. So I really like Daggerfish's leather work. They're different products, especially the canvas bags. They're really cool for survival. But are you ready to cook those fish and eat them? Uh oh, there's a fly right there, huh? You ready to eat some fish? Yeah. Yeah, let's eat some fish. We'll wait for those coals to burn down. Okay. High five. Good one. Try again. Try again. This is Ruby, yeah. by the way. She's my youngest and she really likes to eat fish, huh? <laughs> yeah. Mwah. So we have a nice layer of coals and I'm gonna lay the fish directly on those and watch them cook. Starting with the crappie and the bluegill and the perch. Pretty simple. I can hear those fish sizzling as they cook. The fins are starting to char. I'm gonna make sure they don't burn and when they're done, I'm gonna flip them. They look like they're just about done. The scales on the outside is burned, but the meat inside is perfect. Okay, we're ready to eat these fish. Are you hungry? Yeah, let's try the perch. It's a bit yucky. It's not yucky. Look at that meat. It's white and flaky. I don't like it. You don't like it? What's this? You can take out the bones. They come right out. You know it's cooked well because it falls apart. I'm going to taste it. Did you want to taste it? No. No? Okay. Mmm, <laughs> that's very good. Now you see the people on the survival shows like Alone, when they catch a fish, they're so thankful. Food tastes better when you're hungry, but this tastes pretty good. This is gonna be my dinner. Mm-mm. You want one piece? No. No? Ruby's not sure about it, but I'm gonna eat this whole fish. I don't like it. You don't like it. She can sometimes be a little bit picky. And these bluegill? No. Look how white and flaky that meat is. Mmm. Um, Yuck. It's not yucky. I'm gonna spend some time picking these apart for my dinner. Really good. And a simple way to cook them, all you need is to build a fire and you have a great meal. Look at how yummy that looks. I don't like it. <laughs> you don't like it. So there we have it. Fish caught with an ancient fishing method, a hand reel called the dagger fish. You might wanna check it out. Can I you, boom it? You wanna go fishing? She wants to boom it. Okay, can you say bye people? Thanks for watching. Bye people. Thanks for watching. All right, we'll do another fishing video soon. Maybe some flint napping, my it's garden. It's a drum. You think it's a drum? No, it's a fishing reel. Thanks for watching. Another video coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> bye.